essentialism. There's only so many things that actually matter. And there's only so much time that we actually have to put into something. Recently, I've been spending a lot of time trying to fill my days with all these things, trying to do a lot of things, you know. I'm trying to record these videos. I'm trying to work on my football, work on my juggling, work on those skills. I'm trying to write music. I'm trying to play guitar. I'm trying to learn these other kind of workout kind of skills. I'm trying to work on my flexibility and my mobility. I'm trying to work on the splits. I'm trying to work on my diet. I'm trying to work on getting enough protein to build more muscle. And I'm reading several books and I'm trying to get all this information. And all of it is fluff. There's only a certain amount of things that really matter. There's like, there's a constraint, there's a bottleneck. There's something that is holding me back from going up, you know. It's, to put it in a metaphor, it's kind of like there's a ladder and one of the rungs is broken and I'm trying to reach across to these other ladders, kind of like twister, you know, rather than realizing, oh, you know, maybe I just need to fix this rung and then I can go up. You know, maybe I've worked too much on trying to create these other rungs that I've missed this broken one that I can't get past or that's like kind of keeps tripping me up. So yesterday I got this idea from watching Alex Hormozzi and he had this idea of the season of no, having an anti-routine. Because I found myself so desperate for control, so desperate to get things all in order because it feels like we would have our lives together. You know, once we have control, then things would be better. And this is conditional and it's dependent on something. And that shows insecurity and that's, that's a really shallow, low conscious way of living. And so this idea of a season of no is to cut out all the to cut all out all the fat to cut out everything that doesn't matter and just focus what actually matters. And for me at the moment I need to become more financially independent and secure. And through that I need to also I realize I also want to study more of this spirituality and higher conscious living because and philosophy because these things are really important to me and me trying to do all these things me trying to play music and do work on the splits and gain muscle and work out it's all kind of just a distraction because i'm trying to do too much without actually doing anything meaningful without doing anything deeply and fully and We'll see, we see so much more progress when we just go into the one thing that actually matters, you know, like, oh my God, my finances actually matter. So I'm going to go into this, I'm going to find out ways to make money. I'm going to find out ways how I can increase my value so then my knowledge is more better, so I can create better content, so then I provide more value and then hopefully I will have something that I will be able to sell to other people and start making a living from. So that's the idea that I kind of wanted to share today. Essentialism, there's only so many fucks to be given about things and we should focus on the things that actually matter because there's only a few things and focusing on so much and trying to get too much control over everything and being dependent on other things is restricting us. Thank you for watching if you did. My name's Malin and I'll see you in the next video.